Hi, I'm Anvesha. I'm a fashion and decor enthusiast. Welcome to my home. So home decor is something that has always appealed to me. It goes back to my dad and childhood because we used to always travel and buy things and rather curate little bits of things and pieces for the house. Um, so that is one habit that I still have. A lot of things in this house are collected and curated pieces from my travels. And um, home decor is extremely important to me. It is very important for my mental health to have a very aesthetically pleasing home. And um, I keep on doing my house. I rather change the decor every now and then, maybe seasonal, maybe according to my mood and my likings and that's how I go forth. So this is the entrance area. As you can see, as soon as I enter, there's this touch of Victorian-ness in the house because a lot of my home decor has been influenced and inspired by Victorian and Parisian culture. So as you can see, this um, entrance console, which is custom made, it is a Parisian style with a marble top finish. And uh, we have some olive, uh, very intricate worked Victorian wallpaper. This swan actually is quite interesting. This is actually from Karachi. So this is approximately 26 years old. And uh, there used to be a time when there used to be exhibitions and trade fairs in Calcutta where salespeople from Karachi and Pakistan, I mean Pakistan was actually allowed in our country. So this onyx vase and this uh, swan is actually from Pakistan. This um, little piece which you can see is really really tarnished because it's probably older than I am from Switzerland. Uh, these little bits and pieces of um, cold pressed paper prints are from Momart yet again. I have made a little bit of uh, curation over here because I just think it looks cute. Then again, this Mozart was bought in 2012 in Vienna and something that I've actually, let's put it like the way that I have stolen from my parents <laughs> because when I was making this house, I'm like, I really want that bus because I absolutely love it. This is a shoe cabinet, which is once again custom made. And yeah, I like, so this color has been appealing to me lately and this has been there for about two, three years now. I really like this dark cyan color. So I like a lot of these marble tabletops in a lot of places and these little elements that I have over here, they have a story to tell honestly because everything over here is mostly collected over years, many many years actually and while we travel. For example, this uh, Medusa head over here is approximately 25 years old, bought by my dad yet again from Paris. Um, these little Wedgwood pieces are antiques which I bought from York. I don't even know how old they are but then I just think that they really add some personality because they have a story to tell because they are so old. They are just not just pieces that I put in the house. When I buy these things like especially this was bought by me. I figure that they are going to complement a certain area in the house. It's not just a random buy. So when I picked up that piece from my parents house, uh, this Medusa. I knew it would look good over here because I like a lot of whites, a lot of marbles because they are so timeless and they have that Victorian and English feel which always appeals to me because probably my first travel ever was to London with my dad of course and the decor over there has always been something that has been etched in my head like since the first time I ever traveled to Europe. and. That's something, it's so timeless that I have always wanted my home to look like that. So this is our living area and as you can see it's quite simply done. Uh, just two chairs and a sofa. And this particular chair is my spot. I sit here every morning with my cup of coffee and with Louis. Louis, come here. Biscuit, come here. Louis. Anna, come here. And as you can see, here's his toy basket and we call him that uh, this is his buffet and he can choose his toys and make a mess in the whole house, which we 
absolutely love. So here is a piece that I really, really uh, love. It's a kangaroo skin which I've inherited from my aunt and um, it was bought from Australia back in 2004 or 5. It was still legal then to buy kangaroo skin and I really uh, like uh, putting it here, just throwing it on the sofa like this and um, here is a corner that I absolutely adore. It's uh, this uh, ivory corner table is also custom made with this lovely fruit basket which I like doing up and just I think it just adds to the entire vibe of the house. So this is our puja room. In Bengali we call it our Thakur Ghar. And we have a really big puja in the house, which is the Jagadhatri puja. So this is where everything is done up. And my responsibility as usual is the aesthetics for the puja, even the Thakur Ghar. So you see it's a little bit of um, flowers and little bits of puja things that I've put out. So here's a little elephant which I got from Udaipur because it reminded me of Louis because it's small and cute and uh, there are some round boxes here which add to the general decor but are also really essential for storage because no amount of storage space is enough. This mirror over here reflects the daylight and also gives the illusion of a larger space. And over here is a Hogwarts crest. So I'm a massive Potterhead. And I believe that it's nice to believe that there's magic in our lives, in our daily lives every single day. It's beautiful. And here is my dining area. And I'm a sucker for dining etiquette. And I love doing this elegant English dining setup for brunches at home because me and my friends and family we absolutely love to dress up and do formal brunches in the house. Here is a little bar top space or a kitchen top space where we put food after we cook them or when we have parties we display maybe some drinks or some starters or snacks over here. Some plates to add a little bit of the Victorian touch even these lights and here is again a little bit of us being dog parents because there's nothing more adorable. And here is our fridge which is covered in magnets from our travel. So we make sure we buy magnets wherever we go and we have quite a collection I would say. <laughs> and here is my powder room. Let's call it my thinking room. And now let me take you to my bedroom. So I keep changing my decor every few years and currently I'm feeling some shades of dark as it's reflected in the colors of my bedroom. So the blue-grey shade in the room gives a sensual look in the evening and that is what I'm really attracted to right now, this colour tone, the dark aesthetics I would say. And the mirror over here adequately reflects the daylight so it makes the room a little more brighter. I like doing heavy tabletops as you can see from the decor over here. So here is also this little music box that we got from Switzerland about 25 years ago-ish. It's an antique or a vintage thing you can say and one more thing that I have gotten from my parents. More Wedgwoods and a lot of candles. Yes, I absolutely love candles in the house because they give you that warm feeling in the evenings. Um, lots of cushions on the bed, never enough cushions. For me, this is something I get done in the house every single day and I also like these marble tabletops these nesting side tables that I have so when I have people over or say parties in the house they can be moved around and put to more use this is particularly my side of the bed 
and uh, this little cute bag was gifted by one of my best friends recently. I think it's a beautiful decor item. So now let me take you to my favorite most spot in the whole house. This room holds my lifeline. This is my closet. Just in the very beginning, this is my dream. I mean, every person who loves handbags and fashion, a Birkin is their dream. <laughs> and I have just put it here, maybe just manifesting, and that's me shopping in Paris. So I have a lot of plans of going out because I'm very, very outdoorsy. So I dress up a lot. And this is the space. And trust me, it's no easy job to keep your closet organized. I try. I really try and this is a little bit of that. Thank you for watching this video and for more such content, please subscribe to LBB's Homely Newsletter.